I love running. It's the rhythm, the lack of extensive gear, the time spent outside with friends. The movement helps me to connect with myself, my surroundings. It channels my energy inward, quiets my mind. I consider myself an athlete, but it's been a struggle recently. My back, my knee, my mental health, it's all taken a toll after a half-life of running. What are you supposed to do when the thing you love begins hurting you? I've been lucky to be part of the SCARPA Athlete Mentorship Initiative. I'm surrounded by an incredible supportive group of aspiring athletes and the very committed SCARPA team. The whole experience allowed me to become friends with my mentor, Hilary Girardi. She lives in Chamonix, France and is a professional sky runner. She's basically where I wanted to be when I began running in middle school. She balances her pro athlete life with her climate change job. It's truly been invaluable to chat with her about our athletic goals, progress, and about life. It's been hard to go through an injury. She knows this all too well and is changing my perspective. It's important, I think, for all of us when we're goal setting to be thinking about, like, you know, what is the minimum, like, you know, the minimum that could represent success for me and what is the maximum that could represent success for me. And like, yeah, smashing out of the park, that can be maximum. But to keep in mind that like maybe a minimum is that like I want to learn things. Like I may not do even do the route, but I want to learn more about the process. I want to learn more about myself, about my body. I want to learn about how to, you know, you know, more about how to pitch a project. And if you are more in like a process based uh, rather than a results based, then you are more likely to succeed. It always, for anyone, it sucks to kind of have an objective of yours cut short by getting injured. Um, it's something that every athlete lives with and experiences. That was part of the learning process for you this year, was saying, you know, oh, like maybe my body is telling me something, and maybe the goal should be more about the process than about the result. I don't have to be the fastest or strongest. I can just be in the process. My name is Junior Rodriguez, and I'm still running.